Remember me? I was just wondering if you wanted to get maybe dinner. I don't know about you, but I love seafood. There's a place on Wilshire. Yeah, we could tonight. Holly, right? Holly Garling. Yes, Eric. Hey, babe. I'm serious, though, Hall. Move on already. Someone's popular. Who's the guy? I already sort of have a boyfriend, so. No, you don't. Director Carlos Torres here with us. Big round of applause, everybody. Bravo! Yes. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Torres, do you know about our tradition here at the zoo? Mr. 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 Yes. Um, <laughs> you call people Mr. That's that's that's. I that's like that one. tradition. I feel Carlos, great. Eh? Besides <laughs> that, we, what, we tell me. Do we tell me. count to three and we scream Hua when we sit, when we sit down. We scream Hua. Hua. Yes. I can do that. Okay. One, right. two, three. Hua. 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 First of all, you know what what. The, the movie, I mean, the, the thriller, the 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 tone of the movie is scary. It's it's nerve wracking. Mm. The name of the movie is kind of creepy. Yeah, that's... pets. <laughs> what is pets? Is he trying to make her his pet, or she, or he wants to be her pet? Like mm. what? What's? Well, you have to watch the movie. You, know, ah. the, you start with an idea of what a pet should be, and then slowly it starts morphing, and you know the um, the word pet takes on very different meanings throughout the movie. Wow. So creepy. Yep. Yeah, yep, you gotta I stay tuned. I have a feeling that the victim becomes the victimizer or something oh. weird. Can't say anything. Uh, I have can't a reveal feeling. much, but uh, I only watched the trailer. There's but... a lot of twists and turns in this movie. So was this movie inspired by any rejections that you've gotten from <laughs> women in your life? You know, of course. Of yes. course. I'm already taking like cage building classes and stuff. <laughs> it's you know, I I, I, hold, I held on to the cage. You know. Okay. The movie was shot in my basement. No, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm no. like, what? <laughs> um, I, didn't, uh, I didn't write the script. Okay. The script uh, was written by Jeremy Slater, uh, who's now the guy that um, behind the, uh, the Exorcist, the show. Oh, wow. And uh, I fell in love with the script when I read it. And uh, you know, I went through hell and back to actually get the rights to the script. Yeah. And then we got it made right was here it in really LA. Was it worth it though? Because I'm just like, it was being backed by MGM, and then you had to get some Spanish backers that's, that's to right. support it. I mean, and I'm like, was it worth it? I don't know. You tell me. Watch the movie and let me know if you think it was well, worth it or not. You so seem very young to be directing a film, you know, this uh, mm -hmm. like this. So, is this your first feature film? No, it's my second feature. Uh, I made my first film when I was 26. It was a film called uh, Apartment 143. Okay. It was a horror film, straight up horror. And then I wanted to shake things up a little bit and make something that wasn't just a straight genre. You know, do something, I mean, it's still a horror film. It's still, it you know, like weird suspense? and twisted, but it, it blends several genres. But you if know? you made it when you were 26, that means you made it five years from now? Yeah. Because you look 21. Oh, thanks, exactly. <laughs> I like this guy. I know, Cuban he's people, nice. Cuban yes. people, Cuban people, the way to go. We're man. a special breed. Yeah, yeah. What was it like working with Dominic Monaghan in, in this movie? Because oh, he had already been chosen or considered for the movie? No, so here's the thing. So. I get this script that everyone in the industry had been after for years and years, and I bought it, so I, I now had it, but I knew nothing about it. I didn't know. You got it, like that. You can just buy it. You, you, I went through hell and back to buy it. It's not, <laughs> it's not like a typical thing, but I did get it. it this was going to be a studio movie. It was going to be much bigger. Okay. So what I did was I made the you know 99 cent store version of this <laughs> film. Like I really, you know, once I had the script, I went off and we made it for very little money on a shoestring budget, mm. very indie, but that allows you, you know, we had a lot of constraints because of the budget, but that gives you a lot of freedom. Right. So we were able to, you know, just really de get down and dirty and, and really tell the story as it should be. But anyway, bottom line was I was casting this film, and no one had told me that Dominic Monaghan had been attached at some point. Right. So, you know, we're in the middle of casting, and then I get a call from Dominic. And Dominic's like, uh, listen, man, uh, I heard you guys are making pet. Uh, I'd love to sit down with you for breakfast and convince you why I'm the guy who should do this role. I was like, I was That's attached to this pitch, role. Huh? Yeah, and I was like, breakfast with Dominic Monaghan? Sure, bring it. Oh. So we <laughs> did. We sat down. Um, this was written when Dominic was just done with the first season of Lost. So the character was younger in the script. You know, obviously a long time has gone. So the script was written after the first season of Lost mm -hmm. for Dominic. Oh, so wow. he was now older. So when I was casting the script, I was going out to like 25 year old 
uh, 26-year-old actors, you know. And Dominic basically pitched to me why it was a good idea that this character should be older to begin with. Because this is a guy, Seth is a guy who's very kind of jaded from being rejected over many, many, many years. He plays creepy really well. He, yeah, surprisingly Jeez. well, huh? And, uh, but then you'll, f there's a shift in the movie where you might actually take a liking to the guy. Carlos, dilo, dinos la verdad, tú eres como tu personaje, tú eres kinky en la vida real, ¿te gusta que te enjaulen o tú te gusta enjaular a las parejas? Pues, Cuéntanos. Pues no lo sé, eh, aún, por eso he hecho esta película. Ay, Dios mío, ya estamos, Carlos, ya empezamos know? en este that, programa. That's actually, I'm lying, the whole project started because I wanted to answer this question. Thanks, so, ah. so I'm going to make a film about it and see what I like better. You know, being oh, in the cage. No, you know what it is? You're called the switch. You like experiencing both sides so that you can make a really good movie <laughs> that has twists and turns. There you go. I see that complexity in your eyes. There you By the go. way, where can people watch this movie? Uh, so on December 2nd, it's coming out in 10 cities mm -hmm. in uh, LA, New York, but in very few theaters. Uh, limited release, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, um, San Francisco. Uh, Cleveland, other places, but for example, here in LA, they can see the NoHo 7 okay. uh, cool. in North Hollywood. And eventually this is going to be on demand and people can but really... Exactly. Yeah. December 27th, it's coming out on demand, widely available, okay. uh, so, you know, if, if people, you know, there's not a theater, okay. theater nearby, they can just wait till the 27th and watch it on demand.